a rod of length 6 units slides with ends on the coordinate axis then the locus of the midpoint of the rod is a rod slides on the coordinate axis this is x axis and y axis this is the rod this rod length is given this rod length is 6 units this is a this is b this is the origin we know that the coordinates of origin is 0 comma 0 and capital a is taken as a comma 0 and capital b is 0 comma b here the distance oa is small a and the distance ob is small b here oab oab is right angled we know that in right angle triangle applying Pythagoras law that is OA square plus OB square is equal to AB square that is height square plus height base square is equal to hypotenuse square this is small a square plus B square is equal to AB is given that is 6 square that is A square plus B square is equal to 36 this is the given in the problem now we find the locus of midpoint of the rod this midpoint is taken as p this is say x comma y here a b midpoint is equal to p x comma y that is a b midpoint that is a plus 0 by 2 comma 0 plus b by 2 is equal to x comma y from this a by 2 comma b by 2 is equal to x comma y from this a by 2 is equal to x a is equal to 2x and b by 2 is equal to y b is equal to 2y this is substituting a 2x b 2y in the given equation 1 that is a square this is 2x whole square plus b square this is 2y whole square is equal to 36 this is 4x square plus 4y square is equal to 36 take 4 common x square plus y square is equal to 36 4 9 times cancel so this is x square plus y square is equal to 9 this is the locus of the midpoint of the rod that is x square plus y square is equal to 9 The locus of a point P which moves such that sum of its distances from two perpendicular lines is equal to 1 is a dash. This is MSA 2020 question, 4th August shift to 2. 4th August shift to 2 question. It is given the locus of a point that is take coordinate axis this is x axis and this is y axis p x comma y b any point sum of its distances from two perpendicular lines that is perpendicular lines means x axis and y axis are perpendicular lines the distance from p to x axis is p a and p to y axis is p b here is given modulus of p a plus modulus of pb is given 1 the distance from p to x axis is this is taken as y and distance from p to y axis this is taken as x that is this is modulus of y plus modulus of x is equal to 1 from this mod x plus mod y is equal to 1 we write the four equations this is mod x means plus or minus x and mod y means plus or minus y that is first equation is take both are plus x plus y is equal to 1 and second equation minus x plus y is equal to 1 and third one minus x minus y is equal to 1 fourth one x minus y is equal to 1 these four lines on the coordinate system that is this is x plus y plus is equal to 1 and second line this is minus x plus y is equal to 1 and third line this is minus x minus y is equal to 1 
and fourth line x minus y is equal to 1. The four lines forms a square. This figure forms a square. This is the locus of a point P. Let the point P x comma y moves such that the sum of the squares of coordinates is equal to their product. Then locus of P excluding origin is this is M set 2021 5th August shift 1 question. Here is given P x comma y moves such that sum of the squares of the coordinate axis sum of the squares of its coordinate axis is equal to product that means your coordinate axis that is this is p x comma y b any point the distance from p to y axis is this is p b taken as x and the distance from p to y axis that is p a this is y here is given sum of the squares of its coordinates that means P A square plus P B square is equal to their product that is P A into P B that is P A square that is Y square plus P B square X square is equal to X Y now dividing by X Y that is Y square by X Y plus X square by X Y is equal to 1 here y cancel that is y by x here x cancel that is x by y is equal to 1 this is the locus of the point p x comma y if capital a 1 comma 0 and capital b 0 comma 2 and capital c 1 comma 2 are three points on x y plane if a point p x comma y which moves such that the area of triangle PAB is twice that is 2 of area of the triangle ABC then the locus of the point P is here is given area area of PAB is equal to twice the area of ABC this is the given condition let P X comma Y be any point now we first find the area of triangle ABC here take coordinate axis capital A point is A1 comma 0 lies on X axis and capital B point this is 0 comma 2 lies on Y axis and capital C 1 comma 2 this is lies in first quadrant this is the C point joining these three points this is a right angle triangle right angle let C this is the distance CA is 1 unit and the distance CB is 2 units so area area of triangle ABC is equal to half into base into height half into here base is 2 and height is 1 here 2 2 cancel that is equal to 1 area of triangle ABC is 1 that is equal to 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 now area of triangle PAB that is half into P point is X comma Y and A point 1 comma 0 and B point 0 comma 2 and repeat X comma Y that is equal to 2 from this this is multiplying this is X into 0 is 0 plus 1 into 2 2 plus 0 into y plus 0 minus so y into 1 y 0 into 0 this is 0 2 into x plus 2x is equal to 2 into 2 is equal to 4 from this modulus of 2 minus y minus 2x is equal to 4 so squaring on both sides that is this is a minus b minus c whole square this is 4 plus y square plus 4x square plus 4xy minus 4y minus 8x is equal to 16 from this 
that is 4x square plus 4xy plus y square minus 8x minus 4y plus 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. From this, this is 4x square plus 4xy plus y square minus 8x minus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. This is the locus of the point Px comma y. If capital A 2 comma 3 and capital B 3 comma minus 2 are two fixed points and P x comma y is a variable point satisfying the condition modulus of P a minus P b is equal to 2 then the locus of P e is dash. This is M set 2021 6th August shift 2 question. Here is given condition is modulus of P a minus P b is equal to 2. From this, P A minus P B is equal to plus or minus 2. So, P A is equal to P B plus or minus 2. So, squaring on both sides, that is P A square is equal to P B square plus 4 plus or minus 4 P B. That is P A square, the distance from P to A, that is X minus 2 whole square plus Y minus 3 whole square and P B square that is equal to X minus 3 whole square plus Y plus 2 whole square plus 4 plus R minus 4 P B. That is X minus 2 whole square. This is X square minus 4 X plus 4 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 is equal to x minus 3 whole square. This is x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 4y plus 4 plus 4 plus r minus 4pb. Here both sides x square x square cancelled y square y square cancelled and plus 9 plus 9 cancel plus 4 plus 4 cancel for this minus 4x minus 6y is equal to minus 6x plus 4y plus 4 plus r minus 4pb take minus 6x this side this is minus 4x minus 6y plus 6x minus 4y minus 4 is equal to plus r minus 4 p b here 6x minus 4x that is 2x minus 6y minus 4y this is minus 10y minus 4 is equal to plus r minus 4 p b take 2 common on both sides that is 2 of x minus 5y minus 2 is equal to plus r minus 4 p b here 2 cancel 2 times that is x minus 5y minus 2 is equal to plus r minus 2 pb again squaring on both sides that is x minus 5y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 pb square that is 4 into pb square means x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square this is x minus 5y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 into this is x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 4y plus 4 this is x minus 5y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 of x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y plus 13 this is the locus of the given problem modulus of p a minus p b is equal to 2 this is the required answer